Yeah. Hey friends! You want to see how my mommy does this hairstyle? Keep on watching! Bye friends! Hey friends! So friends, I started off by creating a part. Now I'm kind of making these thick parts just because Sakura's hair type, if I did them too thin, they were not as puffy when I put them in the elastics. So I created a nice thick part. Well, you know, thick enough, I would say. And now I'm gonna create another part coming down and it's gonna be, it's gonna look like a box. And I actually wish I only created two parts back here so my parts would have been thicker, but um, you know, three still worked good enough. And then before I put my first elastic in, I grabbed some of my Blueberry Bliss Control Paste and I put that on a toothbrush and then just got her edges back there. And friends, I do want to mention, before you get that elastic in there, make sure that her hair is all nice and detangled so that when you put that elastic in, her hair, the ponytail is nice and flat on her head. And there's no bumps and lumps. And then you're going to grab another elastic and put it in about an inch after that elastic you previously put in. And then you can fluff it up a bit by just pulling out some of the hair to make it like a puff ball. And then you're going to grab another elastic and put it in about an inch after that green elastic that I put in and you're just going to continue doing that all the way down until you get to the end of the hair. And friends, if your little one's hair is more finer than Sakura's, I would make thicker parts just to make those puff balls more puffier. And if you're lucky and hers is more thicker than Sakura's, then I would just make, you know, a little bit thinner parts. And friends, you just want to make sure that you spray just a little bit of water in her hair. You don't want it to wet because it's not going to make that hair nice and puffy when you put those elastics in. And now I'm just going to create my other part and just do the exact same thing. So friends, how I did my elastic pattern was, you see how that first ponytail is pink and the last one is orange? Whatever was last on that the ponytail that I just previously did, that is going to be my next elastic and I'm just going to go all the way up. So the last elastic on the first ponytail was orange, then it went yellow, then it went purple, then it went green, and then it went pink was the first one on that last ponytail. So the last ponytail on the second one will be the pink. I hope you understand that. I mean, it's not a big deal. I just didn't want to think too much about how I was going to put those elastics in and I kind of wanted it to be a pattern. So I just kept alternating that throughout the hair. So friends, for those ends, what I did was I grabbed my shea butter and I just added that up. First, I sprayed a little bit of water and then I added the shea butter just so it's nice and moisturized and curled. There's a bunch of other different ways you can do it, but I'm just doing it this way. So friends, I just wanted to show you this finish because you know how I was saying that I wish I would have just parted it in two sections instead of three. If you check out that last um, ponytails that I did, you see how those ones are not really nice and thick. That's why I wish I would have did it um, twice. And I'm just showing you this so that you understand what I mean. So when you do your little one's hair, you might want to think about that. So friends, I just wanted to show you how I section these next squares and see how I am not going to section my part directly on the same line as the other squares on the bottom. I want to go over like a few centimeters just so that I create kind of like a checkerboard effect so that when I do put those ponytails in there it's not like overlapping that other ponytail. It's not directly in line because I just think it flows nicer if they're you know a little bit to the side of one another. So friends, since I didn't like where this ponytail was situated, I decided to take it out and do it again. And I just wanted to show you how you should be taking these um, elastics out when you take that whole hair out is you just want to grab a pair of scissors and you just want to cut them out of her hair because you don't want to be pulling at her hair. You don't want to be breaking her hair. This just makes it so much easier. Voila, it's out and so easy. So friends, I just wanted to show you how I parted that front part. And so for at the back, I just went as far up as I thought I should go up. So I just parted it where one side has more than the other side. You can part it in the middle or you can do a bunch of different things you with it like you know just get creative the lady that i seen on pinterest what she did was um she just cornrowed the front that looked really cute but yeah there's a bunch of different ways you can do the front part so friends before i show you the finished look i wanted to show you what i'm gonna do for sakura's hair at nighttime. 
See how I cut that first elastic out? That's what I'm gonna do to all the side pieces that I'm pointing at. Just because Sakura has sensitive edges and when I do leave tight styles in her hair, just even for a night, she will get bumps on the side. Now I know some of you are blessed where you can keep this style in for three to four nights and um, it's not going to even phase those edges because I do have a couple of nieces who can keep this hairstyle in their hair for three to four nights and it's not even gonna bother it. But if they keep it in for longer than that, then you might have some issues. And friends, don't forget that satin cap because it's gonna save that hairstyle. So my friends, there you have it. Another perfect hairstyle for back to school. You can keep this inner hair for about five days. I personally will. And also friends, Sakura got a lot of looks when I took her out on the street. A lot of people loved this hairstyle. Well, my friends, if you like this hairstyle, please give us a thumbs up. When you give us a thumbs up, you definitely help our channel out by getting us out there in the YouTube world. So please, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more hair tutorials. We love you friends. Bye.